it is. I thought he disappeared. No, I'm uh, still here. Look who decided to walk right back onto YouTube. Hmm. Where you been, huh? You think you can just come? You think you can just waltz right back in here? How's it going, everybody? Welcome uh, back to the channel. This is yet again another update video. Seems like the only videos I make anymore, if and when I do make videos or update videos. <laughs> and I apologize. If anyone's been following me since Taiwan, this setup with the steady cam, little selfie stick, and a little jiggy jog might, uh, might look familiar. I actually haven't filmed on this camera in so long that the little battery pack has like lost its ability to hold a charge. So I don't know how long the camera is gonna last, but anyways, I'm in Yorkshire. That's like North England. It looks great, there are cows. <laughs> Hi guys, don't mind me, just moving, so big, hi, hi, you're so big, <laughs> I'm actually getting a master's degree, it's a one year intensive master's at the University of York, I'm doing it in politics, specifically international relations. So it's like kind of my excuse, sort of. But to be honest, it was just kind of like, uh, the, reason that the reason I've been posting is just because my husband work and full time job and then moving countries and then, well, this degree is a bit stressful. Um, and I'm now kind of like two thirds of the way done. It's a one year course in three chunks. I've just done the first two chunks, which are like the courses. So basically six courses, six essays. Now this last third is a dissertation. And so I've got from now, which is May 16th, 2022, until September to write it. And in terms of me and my training, things have been like pretty decent, they've been okay. So I guess about a year ago, like last summer in June or July, I did like a one mile time trial. I basically like, and you guys, if you've watched the last few videos, I had like weird stride problems. Anyway, so I, I was thinking that doing more speed work, doing faster training would kind of help, would kind of help remedy um, these kind of like muscle imbalance issues. Because my thinking was that doing too much marathon training on the hard streets of Paris, um, which are also kind of uh, uneven, just kind of over time, wore me down and then also I wasn't doing any proper muscle strength training like heavy squats and stuff so I think after two three years of living there my form just kind of started to break down so my thinking was I'd do speed training and I'd train for like a mile and see how it went so last summer I did a one mile time trial I did like five flat point something solo on the track like 90 degrees Fahrenheit or whatever so I don't know, accounting for a competition and better weather, maybe take off a few seconds. And like, I haven't done anything since then. I've just been training. So like, whilst I'm going to school, I work a little bit part time, but then I've been running mostly to think, I've been thinking about form. So fixing my form, um, having good posture, been going to the gym quite a lot, doing like proper strength training, Olympic lifts, to try to like get a core back and get some strength in my legs and really try and fix and uh, get over like these weird muscle problems that I was having and like so my training like honestly so you guys if you know if you've been following me for a while my old training in like Taiwan was doing like at the low end 60 70 miles a week and then since I've been here honestly in the last year and a half I think the most mileage I've done is like 42. And that's mostly, most of the time it's been 20 to 30 miles per week. <laughs> I know, I know, it's like, which is no like, I guess no easy feat, you know, for some people, but I'm just used to doing more. And I gotta say, it's not like I've been running it super quick. It's like, 
it's been really weird, honestly. Like, sometimes it's been good, sometimes it's been feeling great, sometimes it's been bad. But anyway, so all through the ups and downs over the last couple of years, um, basically since my last marathon in 2019, I finally got into a place to where I'm kind of like back in shape, you know, I'm getting back kind of the fitness and the form that I used to have. And I think one of the big things is just increasing my mileage a bit. Not for any necessarily like aerobic gains, but mainly for the, the kind of adaptation in the stride. Um, being lighter on the feet, using more of your glutes, not over striding, which is a big issue for me. Because, you know, one of the primary adaptations that distance runners try to make is that of running economy or running efficiency, which you really only improve by doing more of the task, right? By doing more running. So, it makes sense if I was doing 70 to 90 miles a week for a few years, you know, I'll have that benefit for quite a while, a couple years. But then if you stop and you kind of, you become complacent and maybe you pick the wrong shoes, maybe you run on the wrong surface, maybe you stop doing strength training, you know, like all of these little things can add up. And for me, they did and they kind of really broke me down. So yeah, so North of England is fantastic. Um, people are super nice. Lovely culture, a little friendlier than Parisians, good figure. Beautiful, lush, green stuff to see, but also run on, which is fantastic for my legs and for recovery, for getting back in shape. Um, I joined, I joined one of the track teams. I'm actually like on the sprint group, which is kind of funny, but my thinking was I wanted to improve my foot speed and you know max speed capability learning how to run more efficiently and faster paces to make the slower pat to make the slower paces feel more comfortable and more efficient i don't know how much time is left in this battery but that's my little update and i want to tell you kind of like what i'm thinking for the next few videos and so since i'm totally invested in and studying politics, thought it'd be really fun to have a bit of that on the channel. So I think I'm gonna do stuff like this, like a, or not a walk and talk, but a run and a jog and talk, where I pick a topic and talk about it. So like, for example, I said a few essays on capitalism and Marxism. So I basically uh, described the benefits of laissez-faire capitalism from Adam Smith's Wealth of, Na Wealth of Nations as compared to Marx's account of the fate of the worker under capitalism, for example. And so, something I could just chat about on the channel, but then try to apply it to kind of modern day stuff. Um, you know, just for something, you know, just kind of thinking about something fun to do, well, like a reason for me to get out and film videos. And of course, I'll try to make stuff actually about proving running. And the idea is that, well, like, I spent, like I spent so much time out here. I spent so much time out here over the last six, seven months jogging around these fields and listening to like podcasts and trying to learn and educate myself and learn something new because I felt like I've just been uh, really undereducated or there's just so much I could have learned or I wanted to learn about this topic about international relations. And so when I'm running, what I do is listen to podcasts, and so I'll just kind of listen to stuff. So the idea is that I'll make stuff that you guys can, if you, you watch if you like, you can listen to it as well, you know what I mean? Whether you're on a treadmill or on the bike, or you download it to your watch, and you're not jiggy-jogging and you wanna to listen to it that way. So that's what I've been doing, and I'm sorry I haven't been posting. Uh, this is kind of the way it is, like I'm gonna be 32 next month, you know? So I'm kind of really developing myself professionally at this point. You know, that being said, like running is my love and my passion and it's still a big part of my life. And um, I think that this channel, hopefully I can kind of blend and merge the two things, you know, my love and my passion and then maybe some of this kind of professional uh, aspect that I'll be developing over the next few years and kind of uh, the work that I'll be doing. So yeah, I'll um, we'll make kind of like a running slash politics um, collage, if you will. 
And, you know, and I guess uh, I'm sorry in my own way for not being more active on this channel. You know, you click subscribe, you expect to see videos, and I haven't been doing that. But if anybody who's out there who's a little older, middle age, 30 ish, like myself, and older, um, you know, that you've got to kind of have life to do. You know, you got to pay the bills, um, you got to develop yourself, you have to be a productive member of society. And I would love to just uh, bum around and make video YouTube videos all day and not work at all. Uh, but I can't, so <laughs> it's kind of, that's my, that's my apology, so I, I do, I should owe something, you know, to this channel, and to you, the viewers, so I will uh, do my best to fulfill that, and I hope you like the new direction that I'll be taking things, I think it'll be cool, I think it'll be interesting, I think it'll be fun, um, and of course I'll be doing like, you know, the old stuff as well, like training videos, and cool shots of tempo runs, I'll do that, you know, but just something kind of extra to do, so. Yeah, and hopefully it'll be a really fun kind of direction uh, to go into. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I think it'll be cool. So thanks, everybody, for watching. And lovely to see you again. Thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. And I look forward to seeing you next time.